So let's take a look at how we can integrate easy WordPress custom post types into your WordPress project. It's really easy. First step is you need to download the class. So you can either clone it or download it like so. I'll open this up. And what we need right here is this class file. So extract that out. And now we need to drag it into uh, your WordPress project. So right here, I have a new, brand new WordPress installation. I'm gonna go into WP Content, Themes, and we'll go to the new 2011, and I'll just drag that in like so. Okay, so next let's work on this in Sublime. Okay, and now let's get started. We have our class. Now you wanna go into your functions file. In this case, I'm just using the, uh, the base WordPress function file, but that's fine. And we need to require that, so JW custom post.php. And now we have access to this class specifically. So let's take a look at how we can create a custom post type first. It's really easy. Let's say we're gonna create something for movies. It's fairly common to, uh, to show a movie database. So we're gonna create a new instance of the JW post type class. And within here, we're going to specify what the name of our new post type is. So we'll call ours movie. I'm gonna save that, and with that alone, let's see what we get when we log into our WordPress admin panel. Okay, and I'm logged in, and you can see those two lines of code, we now have a new movies custom post type. So that was super easy. The next step is though, we want to be able to specify exactly what is displayed here. And right now it's just using the defaults. But what if we wanna say, Within here, I can pass an array, and this can override any of our options. So I can say supports, and we'll pass an array and say it supports maybe the title alone. And if I refresh, you can see that we are now overriding it. So you could say you're gonna support comments, and you wanna have the editor, and maybe you want the thumbnail, and you know anything you want. If you want the excerpt, refresh, and now we have a little more flexibility. But we need a way to classify our movies. And so how would you classify your movies? An easy way to think of a taxonomy is if you were trying to filter the content in this post type, how would you do it? So for movies, I think I would wanna filter it by director, maybe by length, by rating, things like that. So let's do that. And we'll say movie.add taxonomy. And the taxonomy name here will be called director. So let's save that. And if I reload, now we have a new director taxonomy. And if we come back here, you can see it's added this new panel for you, and that's been done automatically for you. Good. Now let's add a couple more. And we'll say, we'll search by actor, and I'd also like to search by rating. There we are, and now we have some taxonomies, and here they are set up in the sidebar. So good, we have a lot of flexibility now, but I also would like to create a meta box because there might be some additional information about the movie you wanna pass rather than just simply a big description. Uh, what about a, a final thought? Maybe a different kind of review, maybe, I, I don't know, lots of stuff that you could do. So we will add movie, add meta box. The first parameter is going to be what is the name? So we'll say additional info. If I reload, now we have this new additional info panel. But of course, you wanna actually display some fields here. So why don't we say quick review? Maybe people can see the two sentence review of the movie. So that is going to be, we could do a text or if you want a little bit more space, we can give them a text area. Now if I reload, that's all set up and it's automatically going to save everything for you. You don't have to do that. And let's do one more maybe. Maybe we'll do thumbs. Will this be thumbs up or thumbs down? And that'll just be a text. And then lastly, to show you, you can also do select elements. Let's say we decide not to make rating the taxonomy. We can make that just an option here. So we'll say rating. And what we wanna do is specify a select element, but we need to also pass some options here too. So I'm gonna wrap this within an array like so. And then my options will be within this array. So we can say rating G, it'll be different in different parts of the world, but you get the idea, like so. so. Now if I reload, you can see we have thumbs, quick review, rating, and we have our options. So let's fill one of these out. So we can say uh, Shawshank Redemption, info about it. And then we can say director, I have no idea, and actor, Tim Robbins. So now we can add a featured image and that would be where you would upload maybe a thumbnail of the movie, additional review, amazing movie. 
and we'll say thumbs up, and the rating, that's probably R. And you can see by adding this, all of the, uh, the process of saving it to the database, updating the meta information, it's done for you, so you don't have to do that. Then, the work of this class is done. All you need to do is uh, create a custom page template so that you can show all of this information on your page however you want. But the process of actually getting it added in the system, as you can see here, we did 12, 13 lines at most. So let me know if you have any questions. And again, you can download it here.